Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of Stage of the Game. Uh, I'm doing something a little different this week, mainly because uh, Jessie's been really busy with working on her show before she could, takes it to Germany and the reading that she's doing in the New York, and uh, Tony is busy traveling. Uh, he's on vacation right now, and I'm also pretty busy going to tech right now uh, for my show that I'm working on. Um, mainly, so I decided to do a little solo thing. Uh, just gonna play some Overwatch and complain for a bit, cause uh, I need to complain about nerd culture for a little bit and how it's become kind of toxic and how not okay that is. And I'm just gonna play some casual Overwatch and might do terribly. We'll see what happens. But uh, mainly, what I wanted to talk. The reason I'm talking about this is I keep seeing these articles and other things pop up that are making me so disgusted with uh, like geeks and nerds and culture and stuff like that and ultimately I just I feel like I need to talk about it uh, started this morning uh, if this is something that's new recently uh, come about is that uh, Chris Hartwick oh. Ow. Luckily, this is only a skirmish. Uh, Chris Hartwick, uh, who's known for his time at the Nerdist uh, and developing that podcast, he uh, was accused by an ex girlfriend of being emotionally and physically abusive. Missed that. Uh, so. Oop, he missed. And he. Oh, he didn't miss. <laughs> Uh, he was so mainly a girlfriend next girlfriend of his came out and said that all those things about him and uh, the community I expected better from the community I expected them to believe her and at least or at least you know say like I don't or at least say I can't pass judgment right now because I don't know both sides of the story or whatever but people are so quick to fucking defend Chris Hartwick and uh, his, and like, they're so ready to trash this other woman, like without even like they're saying, oh, you can't. Like, uh, well, I remember a world back when you could accuse someone and people didn't automatically believe it as truth, mainly because Chris Hartwick has been uh, ner the nerdist has separated themselves from him. So has uh, AMC and uh, San Diego Comic Con and a bunch of other things uh, have separated themselves from him. And part of the reason I'm, I'm pissed off, yes, like he's technically innocent until proven guilty, but that does only apply in a court of law. People keep pu pu pulling that line, but it's really annoying to hear. And also, there was a very uh, interesting article this morning uh, about how all the silence from all Chris Hardwick's colleagues for and former colleagues at the Nerdist and other places people have worked with him uh, is really showing so far, like, the only people who've come out to defend him are his wife and some guy who produces... I'm pretty sure it was porn. So, yeah, not the best examples of people who to pass... show... Heading up on the objective. Damn it. Uh, no, not the best people. And then the people who are against, who have... A lot of people who have worked for him at the Nerdist, as well as uh, and working with him on other projects, have been saying, like, I can't say anything to the sexual assault, uh, to the allegations, but in terms of the, like, emotional abuse, yeah, that's not hard to believe. Because he was emotionally manipulative and just not a good person to work for. Damn it. you so I'm so sick of people damn it 
damn it. So people ta attacking this woman. And not know, like, like, no, we don't know the full, Chris Hartwick's full side of the story, but at the same time. Oh, come on, you shot me through, that's bullshit. I didn't think you could shoot me through the fucking ice wall. Bullshit. And yeah, ultimately, I'm pissed off at that. Another thing I'm pissed off about that recently came about uh, is... Also, uh, before I leave from that topic, it really shows a lot about... Shit. Yeah. It says a lot about, like, her, her, the nerd culture right now. They're saying, like, oh, like, I remember when women were, like, complained about things. People didn't automatically believe them off the bat. And you needed hard evidence. I'm like, well, yes, we were changing as a fucking society because of the Me Too movement and a, showing a history of these allegations being true. These women aren't just coming forward now. Like, people saying, oh, why is she just coming forward now when they broke up three years ago? Because now there's a movement behind it, and people will actually believe her. That is why people have waited this long. Because initially, what happened was people would say these things, and then they would just shut out. And when she initially, uh, when she initially apparently broke up with Chris Hartwick, uh, he completely blacklisted her. Like it was helped to blacklist her from entertainment industry as a whole. And it's just so frustrating that. I read the comments, and I know I shouldn't read the comments on these things, but it's just so painful to see this shit being so toxic and abusive towards just women in general. I don't give a shit how much you like Chris Hartwick. Sometimes people are just show their true colors, and you need to accept that. Not everyone. <laughs> So, that's my take on Chris Hartwick. But there are other stories right now that are also very troubling. Spit with uh, what happened with Star Wars fans and the and the actress who played Rose in the new Star Wars movie. They pretty much get, they were so pissed off about. Uh, her role in the new Star Wars movie that they pretty much bullied her enough that she quit Instagram. Which is just so fucking pathetic. I mean, it's a character in a movie and you're attacking the actress. If you have problems with the with the writers, sure, that's one thing, but... I mean, come on, like, people... Ugh, I'm so sick of Star... I'm really sick of Star Wars fans in general at this point right now. I just saw a thing about a... Like, there's a movement to have the new Star Wars movie rewritten by, like, a set an outside party. Take that, you fucking high noon, you piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, 
get out of the way of that. Suck on that. But. Uh oh. That's not good. Wait for it. Damn it. So Star Wars fans, well, the, the, yeah, the movement starting by some fucking Star Wars fans who say that the new Star Wars movie was so bad that they just want rewritten with an th outside party and just to completely do it themselves because they, they don't trust Disney to do it. But, and they're asking people for donations because, like, they need to raise money so they can hire writers and crew and all this shit. And people are giving them money with... No promises other than yes, we'll rewrite it and we'll do a better job. They have no pro they have no no, no no script, no director, no actors. They have nothing, but they're and people are giving them money because they're that pissed off. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a goddamn movie. And personally, I fucking loved the new Star Wars movie. So yeah, take that in. I fucking loved it. I thought they did an amazing job changing it and making it different from the old. old system that they had in place with pretty much the problem people had with the Force Awakens. Damn it. The problem people, problem people had with the Force Awakens it was too similar to the original movies. And yes, it followed that same plot line, which was a problem. But, and I still like the Force Awakens, but I didn't love it. I thought, yes, it's, it's very similar. But you know what? I thought The Last Jedi was a really good step in the right direction towards... Well... Oh, shit. Damn it! Nah. But yeah, Star Wars fans, you suck. I fucking hate you. The Last Jedi was amazing, and it was funny, it was smart, and I think you know, it was a real step in the right direction of where they need to take Star Wars in the future. And I like that Ryan Johnson was given an opportunity, he's now going to have an opportunity to do his own thing with the Star Wars universe. I'm excited to see where that goes. What happened to my goddamn team? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Shit. We're doomed. Uh, I've only been talking for 15 minutes and I'm already tired because just I'm so pissed off. I was pissed off before I even started this thing, but I needed to complain about it. I need something to put in. So you saw me do some good moments and some of the Overwatch. You saw me do some really bad moments of Overwatch. And you heard me bitch about nerds and the problem I have with them. And I cu and that's bullshit right there. They fucking shot me through the ice wall. Fuck you. They call bullshit. Okay. That's all I have to say. Um... Thanks for listening and watching, whatever. I'll see you next week. Bye.